For over a decade, Boeing had convinced the world that its 787 Dreamliner was the very definition of aviation perfection. Smarter, lighter, more efficient. A flying computer that couldn't fail. But on a calm June morning, with clear skies and no warning, Air India Flight 171 disappeared from radar, just 30 seconds after takeoff. Families on board never stood a chance. First responders described a scene from hell, bodies thrown like dolls, a fire so intense it melted steel, and black boxes buried under concrete rubble. But what came next was even more terrifying. Scientists uncovered something inside the aircraft's remains that sent shockwaves through the aviation world. It wasn't a mechanical fault. It wasn't pilot error. It was something far more sinister, a flaw hiding in plain sight, a digital ghost, a logic trap that turned one of the safest aircrafts on Earth into a death machine. And the worst part? Boeing had been warned. Now for the first time, we'll reveal what scientists found and why it threatens to bring down Boeing's empire. This isn't just about a plane crash. This is about the collapse of blind faith in the machines that carry us every day. Stay with us, because what you're about to learn could change how you see modern flight forever. June 12th, 2025. Air India Flight 171 takes off from Ahmedabad under textbook conditions. There are no storms, no turbulence, no irregularities in the weather log. A highly trained crew sits at the helm of a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, Boeing's pride and joy. The aircraft climbs just 625 feet before disaster strikes. It stalls mid-air, enters what investigators later call a controlled freefall, and crashes directly into a student hostel at BJ Medical College. Within seconds, flames consume everything, concrete, bodies, lives. Eyewitnesses recall hearing a deep rumble and then silence. One survivor is thrown from the wreckage by a miracle blast, but nearly 280 others are gone. Among the dead, doctors, students, entire families. The engines, manufactured by GE and considered among the most reliable in the world, go eerily silent. The captain's mayday call is interrupted mid-transmission. Something is terribly wrong. Rescue workers find no signs of mechanical detachment. Weather logs show no anomalies. The initial investigation returns no concrete cause. But when they recover the black boxes, investigators discover something truly chilling, not in what the data shows, but in what it doesn't. There is a silence, an absence of alarms, alerts, or system responses that should have triggered long before impact. The aircraft wasn't just falling, it was falling blind. It took almost two full days to extract usable data from the aircraft's charred flight recorders. What analysts heard wasn't panic, it was eerie calm. The pilots weren't battling a fire or a decompression event. They were confused, reacting to a jet that simply wouldn't respond. No warnings, no emergency tones, just a plane that felt distant. And then it hit them. The FADEC, the fully automated engine control system, believed the aircraft was still on the runway. The engines weren't flaming out, they were idling. The software hadn't registered that the plane was airborne. It thought it was taxiing. A deeper look revealed a cascade of invisible failures. Flaps that may have been misconfigured but didn't trigger alerts. A fly-by-wire system that lost its bearing mid-transition. And a software bug flagged in a 2023 report that Boeing had quietly issued a patch for. But no record showed whether this particular aircraft had ever received the update. The Dreamliner hadn't malfunctioned in the traditional sense. It had lost its awareness. It was too smart to fail mechanically, but not smart enough to realize it was already flying. In that frozen logic loop, the plane obeyed a digital brain that never left the runway. Two hours before Flight 171's final takeoff, the same aircraft completed a short route from Delhi. Passengers reported flickering lights, broken screens, and inconsistent air conditioning seemingly minor issues. But to investigators, they hinted at something deeper. Maintenance logs revealed the aircraft hadn't had a comprehensive check in months. A nationwide audit showed a 15% shortage of licensed technicians in India. With expanding fleets and tight turnaround times, airlines were cutting corners, and Air India was no exception. Records showed rushed inspections, outsourced repairs, and incomplete updates. The Dreamliner's design, advanced and modular, requires precision when it comes to software updates. 
Unlike older aircraft, much of its operation depends not on mechanical feedback, but on sensor data and digital logic. If a system doesn't receive the correct patch, or if an inspection misses a small miscommunication between components, the results can cascade out of control. Engineers now believe Flight 171 suffered from a software conflict affecting thrust, flap deployment, and possibly the flight control system itself. And because there was no warning, the pilots had no idea they were flying with a machine that no longer understood reality. As investigators pieced the story together, the fallout was immediate. Boeing stock plunged nearly 10% in a single night. Airlines across Asia and Europe grounded Dreamliners pending inspection. Regulatory agencies demanded answers. Behind closed doors, Boeing executives scrambled. Whistleblower reports from 2024 resurfaced. Warnings about software inconsistencies, missed patch cycles, and ignored alerts. One now infamous memo warned that a system failure during transition phases could leave the aircraft in an unrecoverable state. That memo was ignored, but now it reads like a premonition. The Dreamliner was supposed to be the pinnacle of safe aviation, built with layered redundancies, advanced AI systems, and smarter fuel efficiency. But what happens when the AI doesn't fail, but simply makes the wrong choice? The crash of Flight 171 wasn't just a tragedy. It was a proof of concept that even the smartest machines can be deadly if their logic drifts from reality. For Boeing, this wasn't just a loss of lives. It was the unraveling of a myth that smarter always means safer. And as the world looked closer, that myth began to burn as fast as the wreckage of Flight 171. As the technical teams dove deeper into the Dreamliner's digital core, what they found wasn't a single catastrophic failure, but rather a pattern, one that had been invisible until now. Deep within the FADEC system, which governs engine performance and decisions during takeoff, analysts uncovered a logic loop so subtle, yet so dangerous, that it bordered on science fiction. The system had received mixed inputs, conflicting messages from sensors about flap position, torque settings, and barometric pressure. Instead of flagging the issue or handing over control to manual systems, it entered what one engineer later described as decision paralysis. The aircraft wasn't frozen. It was active, calculating, looping, checking, and getting nowhere. This internal loop caused the system to hesitate. Not once, repeatedly. In aviation, milliseconds matter. But here, the delay stretched for seconds. The FADEC didn't engage climb mode because it couldn't verify the aircraft's true status. The fly-by-wire controls, normally responsive, became secondary. And while all this played out silently inside the software, the engines remained idle. The flaps stayed stuck, and the aircraft, lacking thrust and lift, became a falling machine. It wasn't pilot error. It wasn't sabotage. It was something far more unnerving, a programmed mind, faced with uncertainty, that chose to do nothing at all. And for those 279 souls on board, that decision was fatal. While software engineers dissected the code, another storm was forming inside Boeing itself. Internal audits launched in parallel with the Flight 171 investigation revealed a reality the public was never supposed to see. Years of aggressive deadlines, supplier pressure, and scaling demands had quietly eroded Boeing's once unshakable engineering standards. In the rush to dominate the skies and outpace Airbus, the company had made concessions, not just in hardware, but in process. Technicians rotated faster than they were trained. Firmware inconsistencies were flagged but often deprioritized. Field engineers were overwhelmed, struggling to keep up with the complexity of modular systems. And then there were the warnings. One, dated early 2024, came from a senior flight software architect. It highlighted minor bugs in transition logic, specifically how the FADEC might misinterpret certain takeoff sequences under low flap scenarios. The warning was never escalated. Another whistleblower flagged irregularities in how subcontractors applied firmware updates. That, too, was buried under red tape. These weren't outliers. They were symptoms. Symptoms of a culture that had shifted from safety first to output first. In that climate, a bug didn't need to be malicious or massive. It only needed to be ignored. And Flight 171 proved that when software is prioritized for speed instead of scrutiny, even the most beautiful aircraft can fall from the sky with nothing more than a logic flaw.
Beyond the code, beyond the systems, lies the human tragedy, raw, painful, and unforgettable. Emergency teams who arrived first described a silence so complete it felt unnatural. Survivors weren't screaming. They were too shocked to speak. One man, Vishwashkumar Romesh, was ejected from the fuselage by what rescuers believe was a pressure anomaly just seconds before impact. He survived, barely. His memories are fractured. Oxygen masks that didn't deploy, lights that flickered, a low vibration just under his feet, and then darkness. That strange vibration, cross-referenced with flight logs, may have been the RAT, the ram air turbine, deploying as a last-second failsafe. But it came too late. Hospitals across Ahmedabad were overwhelmed. DNA tests delayed identification. Parents waited outside burn units for days, hoping for miracles that never came. In classrooms and temples across India, candles burned for students who would never return. But grief wasn't the only thing spreading. Something else began to grow. Anger. Distrust. The belief that this wasn't just an accident. It was the result of arrogance, of a system that had become too confident in its own intelligence. Boeing didn't just face lawsuits. It faced a collapse of public faith. And in that silence at the crash site, in the smell of burning fuel and flesh, lingered a question no engineer could answer. How could something so advanced forget how to fly? The crash of Flight 171 didn't just stop at India's borders. It exploded into a global reckoning. Aviation authorities from Canada, Australia, the UK, and across Europe launched emergency inspections of every Boeing 787 in service. Airlines halted orders. Regulators demanded simulator training not just for mechanical emergencies, but for digital logic failures. Governments pressured Boeing for transparency. The FAA, under renewed scrutiny after previous scandals, reopened investigations into patch management, subcontractor oversight, and whether the Dreamliner's layered automation had become too opaque to trust. India, once hopeful about its aviation resurgence, began re-evaluating its entire fleet strategy. Air India, now under Tata's ambitious rebirth plan, faced its darkest hour. Public confidence collapsed. Lawsuits piled up. Political pressure intensified. Meanwhile, behind closed doors, Airbus courted Air India with aggressive deals. A geopolitical shift was underway, not just about aircraft, but about trust. Boeing, once the unquestioned titan of the skies, was now a cautionary tale. Not because it built a bad aircraft, but because it built one so complex that when it failed, no one, not even the pilots, understood why. And if a plane as advanced as the Dreamliner can mistake the sky for the ground, what else is flying above us right now, waiting to make the same mistake? Flight 171 didn't fall because it was old, neglected, or under attack. It wasn't brought down by birds, fuel leaks, or storms. It was a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, an icon of modern aviation, built with algorithms, reinforced by artificial intelligence, and praised as the safest aircraft of its kind. And yet, it fell. Not because something broke, but because the very system designed to think for itself didn't know what it was doing. A silent failure. A contradiction in code. A deadly misunderstanding between sensors, logic, and truth. This crash wasn't just a mechanical event. It was a philosophical one. It exposed the terrifying gap between what machines believe and what's actually happening. It proved that software, no matter how advanced, can lie by omission. It can see data but not meaning. It can interpret everything and still understand nothing. Boeing didn't just lose a jet that day. It lost the illusion of control, the myth that perfect systems can replace imperfect humans, the comforting belief that automation makes us safer by default. And now, the question haunts every airline, every regulator, every passenger. How many more aircraft are flying with ghosts in their code? How many more digital brains are out there, quiet, confident, flawed. If this story rattled you, it should. Because we've entered an era where crashes aren't always loud and malfunctions aren't always visible. Sometimes the system doesn't scream. It simply hesitates. And in those seconds of silence, lives are lost. Not to chaos, but to logic. So if you made it this far, don't look away. Subscribe so you never miss the truths that others try to bury. Hit the bell icon because next time, it might not be a dreamliner. Share this video with someone who still believes machines can't be wrong. And tell us in the comments, 
Was Flight 171 just a tragic accident? Or the beginning of something much darker?